Well, I wanted to show you how our electric water pump kit for the Fiat Spider works. This eliminates the need for the mechanical water pump, and there's uh, several benefits to using this kit for your cooling system. First of all, it does away with your thermostat. It no longer needs that system, and also does away with the uh, need for the mechanical water pump. So you can use a, either leave the pump in place or use a block-off plate, which we offer, to uh, connect the hoses to the front of the engine. And the electric water pump runs uh, at varying speeds depending on the temperature that you program into the engine to maintain a, a constant temperature, a more even temperature than what a mechanical pump and thermostat would do. So one of the advantages is during warm-up, the car that has a thermostat, they have a bypass, so the water just circulates through the block instead of through the radiator to warm the engine up. Now the problem with that is you get hot spots in the engine. You can get spots in the engine that are well over 200 degrees as the engine's warming up, even though your temperature gauge may show that the engine's still cold. So engines don't like varying temperatures like that. They run best when the temperature is uniform throughout. So the benefit to this pump during warm-up is it circulates the water at a slower speed, but it circulates it uniformly so the engine gradually warms up across the, across the engine instead of getting hot spots in it. So we've got less drag because we have one less item to turn with the accessories on the front of the engine, which equals a horsepower increase. So it's a great way to add a few horsepower to the car, less drag, and warm the engine up evenly. Now this unit also has a controller that you program for the engine temperature because it'll control the cooling fan to help maintain the, the uh, engine temperature. And since the pump is duty cycle controlled, it will pulse on and off at uh, varying speeds to keep the engine at the temperature you program. So also one of the big benefits is if you've ever had to bleed one of these cooling systems with a thermostat in it, it can be quite a task to get the air out of these systems. With the electric water pump, that's no longer a problem. You turn the key on and the water starts circulating at a low rate, and within a few seconds, you've got the air bled out of the system. So we do have a bleed. This is our, our billet water outlet that we offer. We've got our heater hose hooked up into that, and uh, also a bleed on top, and then you can see the temperature switch that uh, gives feedback to the controller for the uh, water pump to uh, control the fan and control the water pump speed. So we've also got a controller that we mount inside the car that's programmable. It'll tell you the temperature of the uh, engine as it warms up. It will tell you when the fan cycle's on. So you can see the controller here. We've got it mounted under the dash on this car. And we've got the target set at 170 degrees. So it'll, the cooling fan will turn on when it gets 10 degrees above the targeted spot. So this uh, car will cycle the cooling fan off at 180. Uh, as it, as it maintains temperature in that 170 range that we've set. And the temperature is programmable from 120 up to uh, about 220, which is hotter than I like to run them, but we found 170 is a great target temperature for this. As you can see, the black, uh, the black bars at the bottom are the current engine temperature, and it'll, uh, as the engine's warming up now, uh, it'll, it'll gradually move up uh, on the scale. So as the temperature goes up, it varies the water pump speed to uh, maintain the temperature where we want it. So you can see the temperature there is about 120, I believe. And if we look at the gauge on the on the dash, it's showing about the same thing, just above 120. So we've run this car pretty extensively. And it'll sit here and maintain 180 degrees uh, uh, with the fan cycling on and off. And the system's just as happy as can be. You see the icon on the left that looks like a cooling fan. And when the fan cycles on, that, that will rotate so that from inside the car, in case you can't hear the fan, you know that the fan's being controlled. So this system's available on our website. It's pretty easy to install. Uh, just a few wires to hook up. And the kit comes with everything you need to install it on the car, from electrical connectors, uh, wiring harness, this fan controller, the electric water pump, and uh, fittings, hoses, and a uh, new fan belt, because you're not going to turn the water pump anymore, you're just going to run it straight to the, the fan belt, straight to the alternator. We do offer an optional block-off plate.
plate. Uh, if you want to take the water pump off and uh, clean the front of the engine up, we've got a block off plate that will mount to the front of the engine. But that's certainly not required. We've done several of them where we just uh, use the water pump and remove the pulley from it so it no longer turns. The system's really a nice system. And if you've had cooling system problems with your Fiat, uh, this is a great way to eliminate them. No more air bubbles in your cooling system. And one of the other great features I really like is when you shut the engine off, the water pump will circulate water for up to three minutes to gradually cool the engine down so you don't get hot spots in the block, uh, which is pretty common. And if the temperature is above your set point, it'll also run the fan while the water is circulating to help gradually cool the water down. So it's, um, it's a great system to prevent uh, hot restart problems uh, where you may boil the water in your, in your cooling system after you shut the engine off and that, that's one of the features I really like the best. So you can see the engine's warming up here, the, uh, uh, the black scale is gradually jumping up higher as the engine comes up to operating temperature.
water pump kit for the Fiat 124 Spider. It'll fit all 